this video we will put the finishing touches on our tower defense game which means that we will finish off the menu and we will make sure that we can't block the path of our monsters when they have to go from the blue to the red portal um, so the first thing we have to do is to create a new script so let's go to script here and right click and create a C sharp script and let's call this um, main menu and let's open up the script and the reason that we can't use the game manager is because there's some functionality in the game manager we don't want to run here let's make a function called options and sleek make a new function called quit that's not what i want to do like this and let's make a new function called play so these will be corresponding to the actual um, functions or the actual buttons so quit needs to say application dot quit and play needs to say application dot load uh, level and level one like so um scene manager load scene let's try that one instead right click on it quick actions and using unity engine dot scene management scene manager load scene and let's click a one here so we save this and jump back to unity and go to file and then we go to build settings and in here we say that well we add the open scene and we also want to add the level and you can see here the main menu is index zero and the actual scene level is one and that's why we are saying let's load scene one when we play so if we select our buttons here okay, let's say quit we need to go and find the on click here click plus and then we need to create um let's say let's create a new empty game object called menu manager and if we click on that and say add component let's add our script and uh, what did we call it menu main menu and then we can click the quit the options button quit button and select the menu manager drag it here open up and say main menu and find the uh, quit and then click on play and take the menu manager at here main menu and let's find play and options menu manager drop it here main menu and options so if i play the game and click the play button it should load the main menu or the main game and it does okay so now the buttons work but our options button doesn't do anything right now so we have to go to our menu and save not menu sorry label and um, like so and then we have to take our options menu right there we need to create a prefab from it so click the prefabs take the options menu and drag it here um, and put it on the UI maybe so that's the options and then we have to go back to the menu scene don't save this and we have to go to prefabs and UI and find our options menu and we have to enable it so we can see it and put it under the canvas and let's try to scale it down so it has the same size as the other menu kinda simply just place it and you can scale it up so it fits about there and then take the title and move it down maybe make it a little smaller okay so that's our options menu so when you have done that you can disable it again and then we have to take some functionality from the game manager let's open the game manager 
see we have something called show in game menu here um basically you can copy the show in game menu function and we can jump to our main menu and we can paste it inside options actually and remove the show in game thing like so um so we don't need the time scale thing here because we don't need to pause anything in the in the menu uh, but we need a reference to the main menu and the options menu so let's go to the top private game object and call it options menu a private game object and call it main menu okay so if the options menu is active then we say main menu dot set active uh, false oh, true I mean and we say options menu dot set active false and else we do like this false and true else we do the opposite I don't even know why I copy pasted that function from before because we don't really need that so if it was confusing sorry um go to the options and make sure you write it like out like this right the ops menu if it's active then we enable the main menu and do this or we do the opposite here okay and then we need to serialize these two fields serialize this field and uh, we don't need anything from start and we don't need an update so now we should be able to activate this um, let's see if I go to my menu manager and take the options menu and drag it here and the in-game menu drag it here and rename it to maybe main menu like so um, let's see and if I go to the options menu there is a back button here and the back button needs to take the menu manager and main menu and go to click the options actually because then it should go back let's try here options shows the menu and the back button is a little messed up we need to fix that um but if i click back it goes back so let's show the options here and let's make sure the back button sits correctly somewhere there is the center and um, we can actually take this Let's copy the main menus component, copy component, go to options and paste uh, component values. So they should be right on top of each other now. And yeah, then I can disable options again. And let's try one more time. Options, the back button is right there. If I click back, it goes back. So now we can go back and forth. However, this is not going to work the sound and music volume doesn't work right now so we also need our sound manager so I can't remember if we already did that nope so if we go to scene or level save this and find our sound manager and create a prefab of it like so and we go back to our scenes our menu save then we take our prefab sound manager um, and put it into the scene and then you can see it has two audio sources and everything it's fine but the SFX slider and the music slider is not assigned so we need to go to canvas and options take this effect slider put it there and the music slider and put it down there and then we have the in-game audio clip we will need to play that comp menu like so so if I play the game now there's some music and I can go in options and should be able to turn this down and turn it up to get the music up or down and I can also adjust this here and all that should also still be saved so if I play again and go to options these are still set as I wanted them before and we can play so one thing here the in-game menu quit here quits the whole game Maybe we would like it to go back to the original scene, like to the main menu. So we can go to our assets and scripts and game manager. 
uh, and instead of a play agent click quit so scene uh, let's see here scene manager dot load scene zero there we go so if we save this now we can start our game and we can play and we're playing our game and we can actually quit back to our main menu okay and i actually just saw a bug i think you can see everything is animated i click play and i play here if i escape and quit then nothing is animated here anymore because the time scale is still zero so we need to make sure that our time dot uh, time scale is equal to one like so so we save now jump back let's try one more time play and we quit and now everything is still animated because we remember to set our time scale back so the last thing we need to do before we wrap this series up is to make sure that we can't block the path from the portal to from the blue portal to the red portal because if we play the game now you'll see that we can actually simply put towers around the portal here and now the monsters wouldn't be able to walk from blue to red because we blocked the path and this shouldn't be possible we shouldn't be able to place this tower um because right now when we spawn the monsters they will walk through the towers now because of uh, an error so what i would like to do is to open up the script and i would like to make sure that when i place a tower well then I would like to check if I would block the path before I place it. So if we go to the, let's see here, A star script, you'll see that we have something that breaks here and we return the final path. Actually, instead of returning the final path, if we don't have a path, we can just return null. So return final path needs to move up here. And then we need to return null down here, which means we return the final path. And if it's not possible to find the final path, if we can't find the goal, well, then we just return null. And we can use that null return to check if um, we have a path or not. So if I go to the tile script, there is a function called place tower. And this one will place a um, tower in the game, if you remember. So I can actually say here, well, if my a star dot um, get path from this would be just start to goal i need to remember be able to access them well if that isn't null if that or if that is null then we don't have a path okay so we can't find a path if the path from start to goal returns null and then we need to do something here we can simply just return and then all the code down here will not be run okay first of all we need to access start and goal well, in level manager, we have something called blue spawn and red spawn. And we need to access those two. So how do we do that? Well, we already have a property here for the blue spawn. So we can access it by saying, um, let's go to the tile script. We can access it by saying level manager dot instance dot blue spawn. Okay. So now we need the goal, which is the red spawn. Well, we can do that by saying level manager. We can copy this blue spawn and replace it with red spawn and return the red spawn instead, like so. So if I save this, go to the main menu or not, not main menu, the tile script, we can say level manager dot instance dot um, red spawn. So if the path from the blue spawn to the red spawn is null, then we don't want to return anything. Well, the problem is that when I place a tower there, it's not going to be unwalkable until I'm done placing the tower. So before I do this check, well, I would actually have to, let's see, I can actually demonstrate this because it just checks next time, right? So if I do like this, I can still log it in like so now it's blocked but now i can't place more towers because the path is blocked so it do it, it's doing it one um move too early or too too late i mean 
So to make sure that it checks before we set the tile, we simply say, well, before we do this, we say uh, walkable. I can walkable <laughs> like that equals false. So it's not walkable. We do the check and we say walkable is true before we return. Okay. So we set it to false, check if we can place something, and then we set it to true again. Um, because I think that should be it because it looks at walkable tiles. So save this and play the game again. And I try to wall this in. I'm not able to place this tower right here, but I can place it here. So now I can't block the path anymore. Okay, so that is fixed so that's it i'm going to wrap up this series thank you very much for watching and following along and coming with input and questions in the comment section on youtube also if there are some bugs of course i will fix them and i will also upload videos about that but officially i am done with this uh, series here of course also thank you to everyone who supported me by buying the files for this project and also supporting me on patreon so thanks for watching